Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the application part of distance versus displacement. If you haven't seen distance versus displacement, stop this video right now and go watch it. Also, if you haven't seen scalars versus vectors, stop this video right now and go and watch it. If you've completed those two, then you're doing pretty well, so let's get started. Here we have a sperm whale in that picture. Now, the sperm whale was made famous by the the novel Moby Dick, where Captain Nemo decided to chase his arch nemesis, Moby Dick, the great white sperm whale for about a couple of hundred of pages. And then, I don't want to spoil it for you, so go ahead and read it. It's pretty good. All right, anyways, back to distance and displacement. Here we have a sperm whale, and it swims two kilometers to the east, and then five kilometers to the west, and then it, for some reason, it swims six kilometers to the east once more. Now, this is what I call a very confused whale. So before we start, I want to draw some confusion question marks over the whale. He doesn't know why he's swimming. Sorry. All right. Now, in order to calculate total distance, all you have to do is you have to add up all of the values. So in this scenario, we have 2 kilometers plus 5 kilometers plus 6 kilometers. And if we use our calculators, a.k.a. our brains, do it, do it, do it, do it, we get that the total distance traveled was 13 kilometers by our whale. I'm going to call him Ricky. Ricky the whale. Alright, now for our total displacement, it's a little bit different because um, if you've seen the other videos, which you should have, we know that displacement is the distance between your starting point and your ending point. A straight line. Okay, a straight line between your starting point and your ending point. Now, there's two ways of doing this. There's the mathematical way and there's the, the way of drawing where we draw vectors and we can figure it out that way. I'm going to show you both ways. Um, I personally like the mathematical way because it just works a little bit easier on my, in my brain. You can figure out which way you like. Now here we have Ricky the whale and he's going to start at this point and that point from here on out will be known as zero. Anything to the left of zero is negative. Anything to the right of zero is positive. Okay, so we know that the whale swims two kilometers to the east. Ooh. That's my whale sound. Okay. And then after it does that, it, it does a 180 and it swims five kilometers to the west. Ooh. All right, wonderful. After the whale does that, it does another 180 because guess what? It forgot something at home. And it swims back six kilometers to the east once more. Ooh. Okay, and it ends somewhere there. I'm gonna show that with. That's my ending point. All right. Now, if we take a look at that, it looks a little bit confusing. Like I, I don't know where, like what happened. And this is our starting point and our ending point. Now, if you watch the video, you should know that displacement is the distance between your starting point, here it's the green dot, and your ending point, here is the yellow dot, and that whatever that distance is right there is your total displacement. Now, it's, it looks a little bit confusing, so I'm gonna I'm gonna unscramble those vectors for you. Here we have oh, here we have our starting point, okay, and it swam. Two and then it swam five and then it swam six right there and it ended and it ended right here. Okay. Now if we know that the starting point is zero, we can take a look at it visually and try to figure it out. If it swam two kilometers that way and then it swam five kilometers this way, okay, that must mean that from its starting point, it went three kilometers more. And then from there, if it swims six kilometers to the east, okay, so it had to go one, two, three, and it's back where it started, and then four, five, six, 
And so what it actually happened, we swim a little bit more, the total displacement from its start was three kilometers. Now, let's do that one more time. Starting point to the first rest stop, all right? That's two kilometers. And then he turns around and he swims five kilometers to the west, all right? So here we are at two, and then he goes to one, zero, negative one, negative two, negative three. So he's all the way out here, three kilometers from his original point, but then he turns around again. So he goes from negative three to negative two to negative one, zero, then one, two, three. Three kilometers! That's the vector method. If you have graph paper, it's a lot easier to see. But if we wanted to do it mathematically, the way that I like it, all we have to do is this. We write displacement is equal to. We have to add direction and magnitude when we're adding displacement. Now remember what I said, anything going to the right is positive. Anything going to the left is negative. Trust me, just use that and the entire year will be a lot easier. So we have two kilometers to the east. That means that the two is positive. And then we have five kilometers to the west. Negative, because he's going to the left. West is left. And then he's going six kilometers to the east once more. Because it's going to the east or right, it's positive. And then we use our fancy calculators known as our brain. And we add it. Two plus negative five is negative three. Negative three plus six is three kilometers. So ladies and gentlemen, our displacement is three kilometers. Check out the next video where we go in the y-axis.